Hi, Gear 3, and welcome to week three. This week in maths, we are going to be talking about measurement. So think about what are different things that we can measure. Put a few on here. So we've already in year three talked about time, how to measure that in seconds, minutes, hours, weeks, months, years, etc. We haven't talked too much about temperature. We have seen a little bit in Celsius how to do that. Then length, we did a huge unit on length when we did feel the force, talking about meters, millimeters, centimeters, hopefully you remember that. How many millimeters is equal to one centimeter? How many centimeters is equal to one meter? Perfect. And this week we're actually going to be talking about mass and volume. Today, specifically, we're going to be doing mass and essentially weight. So, and all measurements require two things, the quantity, so your number, and then units of measure. Now, you know that us year three teachers, we are very picky about units of measure, and if you do not say the unit of measure, so if you had a ruler and you said it's 24, we always say 24 what? 24 bananas, 24 pencils, 24 watts. So it's very important that you use that unit of measure because it might be, even with a ruler, it might be 24 millimeters or it might be 24 centimeters. And we know that that's very, very different. So remember that. So the units of measurements that we're going to be using is grams and kilograms. So have you seen things being weighed before? What have you seen? Have you been weighed before? Have you seen weight? Yep, lovely. So, like I said, our unit of measurement is going to be gram in kilogram. So here you can see a gram is very light. So a paper clip you might have around, a pen lid, piece of chewing gum, these are all one gram. And then we have kilograms, so it might be a liter of milk, two loaves of bread maybe, seven apples, these are approximate. Um, and a kilogram is worth a thousand grams. So it would take me a thousand paper clips to even just get one kilogram, right? Now, think about how do we know these units of measurements? What do we use to weigh things? And what scales do we use? So here you can see some different types of scales. We have spring scales, platform scales. Platform scales are normally bench scales, what we use to weigh ourselves, digital scales. You also might have some scales in your kitchen to see that. Floor scales, which we won't be using, as you can see there, that would be very heavy objects. Now it's also important, really quickly, to talk about the difference between weight and mass. So when we talk about weight, we can use this on planet Earth because this is pretty much how much force is being used to keep you down with gravity. We know this looking at our forces, how much force is pulling us down and that's our weight. Whereas mass, now on Earth, our weight and our mass are the same, but your mass is how much, pretty much how many atoms are in this object, what are you made of or the thing is made of. So for instance, if we took an elephant, and we know that on Earth an elephant weighs a lot and his mass would be a lot, but if we go up in space, we have almost zero gravity, less gravity. The mass would stay the same because the elephant, the atoms, they have not changed, but the weight would be different. So just a quick side note there when we're talking about weight and mass, and we might use those interchangeably because on planet Earth, we have gravity and so they stay the same. But it would be different if I was teaching you on the moon and our lesson would have to be slightly different. But luckily we're here on Earth. Side note, if I say weight and if I say mass, it's the same thing. And this is what we said, weight and mass. So how heavy an object is, mass, amount of matter, an object contains. So your atoms, molecules, etc. Now this is our scale. So we have milligrams, grams, kilograms, and tons. So milligrams, they use it in medicine, gems, you can see that. So it even takes a thousand milligrams to make that one gram. And if you remember that one gram might be that paper clip. So imagine what a milligram might look like. Grams, like I said, these are used for your letters. If you go to the post, they weigh your letters, your envelopes, 
your packages normally use that in grams and see that now it takes a thousand grams to make one kilogram a kilogram is much heavier so it's people how many kilograms do you weigh luggage if you go to the airport and then weigh your luggage to see how much you can go on the airplane and then tons well that's transportation that may be how heavy your car is lots of different uses so here we have a hundred grams and one kilogram obviously there's a not to scale it's just a picture but think about if it takes a thousand grams to make a kilogram how many of these hundred grams would i need well we can count in hundreds so 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 a thousand so it would take 10 of these 100 grams to make the same the equivalent as a kilogram so imagine that all right like we said our scales have different intervals and the first thing that's very important for you to do when looking at scales is see what unit of measurement it is using so for instance this scale i can see that g what does that g mean it means grams and as well you can kind of have think what could we be measuring here would it be appropriate to be measuring people with this scale no definitely not would it be appropriate to measure medicine well no because that's milligrams be very very tiny looking back at this grams envelopes food etc well done now we can see here that it starts at zero and it goes up and max it goes is 500 grams so what is each interval worth these are your intervals on your scale so we have one two three four five so how much is each one worth have a think about that what mass is shown on this scales and where would 200 grams be on this scale mm, hopefully you've had a bit of a think on that let's have a look so these scales are measuring in grams we know that we looked at that unit of measurement we saw that g so it's not a k and a g kilograms it's grams what is the value of each interval well they say between 100 grams and 500 grams there are five intervals like we said each interval therefore must be worth 100 because there are 500 in 500 so what they've done is taken 500 and divided it by five 500 divided by five is 100 so 100 200 300 400 500 yes each interval has a value of 100 grams so that one carries on don't worry about that we can look at this scale now and see that what is it pointing to it is pointing to 400 grams and this is what we said 500 divided by 5 there's five points so we know each one's 100 so 100 200 300 400 perfect and there we go the point is after the fourth interval so we know it's 400 grams and the last question where would 200 be on these scales let me get my pen so i know this is zero grams 100 grams 200 grams so i would draw it oh i haven't had it perfectly but we can even have that approximate it's closer to the 200 gram there there we go after the second interval okay oh here we have another one first thing look at your unit of measurement what is it this time it's a k and a g do you remember what that stands for next how many intervals do we have one two three four five six mm. so what is each interval worth 48 divided by six what mass is shown on these scales and where would 32 kilograms be so let's see all right what is each interval worth well hopefully you've already figured out 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 
So in this case, we're going to be using our eight times tables. So that would be eight kilograms. I'm not going to write kilograms for each one because that will take a bit of time, but you can hopefully remember that. So eight times one is eight. Eight times two, 16. Excellent. Eight times one, eight times two, eight times three. What is it? 20, well done, 24. Eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four. 24 plus eight. Well, you know that 24 plus six would get you to 30. And then how many more do you have left over? Two, so 32, lovely. Eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight times five. Fifth. Uh, 40, sorry, 40, and then we already have 8 times 6. Now, what mass is shown on these scales? Well, we've already said it's in kilograms, and it's the third pointer, so it is 24 kilograms. And last one, well, 32, I've already labeled our scale, so we would draw it, whoop, there. Okay, so it's the fourth interval. Now, here we have odd one out, just to practice. One set of scales shows a different mass. Which one is it? So in this case, they all have grams, 500, max 500, 250, and 160 grams. So have a look really quickly, brainstorm, which one shows a different mass? So here you could do 500 divided by one, two, three, four, five. So which interval would these be? 250 divided by one, two, three, four, five. 160 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think it's 16 there. Ooh, let's find out. All right, each year, hopefully you figured out 500 divided by 5, so each one is worth 100. Now you can see here that this would be 100. And then this one would be 200 grams. And the pointer, the scale, is showing just a little bit after. Now, it's good here to think about what your halfway point would be. So my halfway would be about here. And I know that halfway between 100 and 200, like a number nine line, would be 150. So I know approximately it's going to be 125, even if I put that into quarters, right? 125 grams. Here. 250 divided by 5. What do we think? Well done. So 50 each. 50, 100, 150 would be this one, 200, etc. Now here as well, think about what is halfway between 100 and 150. It's 125, so that kind of gives you a guess, and that's the same, so that means our last one must, must be the odd one out. So here, 160 divided by 16, hopefully you remember it, it's 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I might even mark that there. 110 for the next one. Uh, 120 grams. So the odd one out is the last one. Now you see how it's very important. The best trick to do is take your max number here and divide it by how many intervals. All right, let's try this one as well. So you help me. This time we have kilograms. Eight divided by one, two, three, four itself as well. One, two, three, four. Eight divided by four is two, good, 12 divided by one, two, three, four, 12 divided by four, three, excellent, and 15 divided by one, two, three, four, five, 15 divided by five, three, excellent. So let's see, each one, like you said, is worth two, so, ooh, that would be two, that'd be four, so this right in between would be three kilograms. 12 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be 3, so 3, 6, 9, so we know that if this is 3, this would be about, I'd say 2 and a half, but we can put 2 
two kilograms. And last one, 15 divided by one, two, three, four, five, that's three again. So again, it looks very similar to kilograms. So the first one is the odd one out. Hopefully that gives you a bit of a review on how to read your scales. So this is your work that you have to do in your packet. So very similar stuff here. Some of them already have the scales for you, some hints. So here, if this is 500, this is 600, what's your halfway point? And you can even round up to that number. And remember, you must write down what unit of measurement you are using, okay? Now here, again, you have 500 here, you have 1,000 here. This is very similar to your number line. Figure out what, is it going up in hundreds? Is it going up in fifties? Is it going up in 25? Does this be 525? 550, 575, no, well, definitely not. What about 50s, 550, 600, 600, oh no, maybe hundreds, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Mm. And then remember, write down your unit of measurement. Here, so what is each interval worth on each set of scales? So you're gonna need to write this time as well. So 800 divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how much is each interval worth? So 800 divided by eight, so you write down the answer. And then I want you to draw 350 grams on that scale, please. Same thing here, so count, remember start at this one, 80 divided by how much? How much is each interval worth? And then mark 48 grams. And again, 300 start at this one, 300 divided by this point, and then mark 225, all right? Remember when you're counting these, so for instance, 800, I'm only counting these ones up to zero. Do not count the zero because that's not worth anything technically. So 800 divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now obviously you don't know your 800 tables, but look at your place value. What numbers do you see? What do you recognize? 800, divided by eight, we'll start in your hundreds. How many hundreds do I need to get to there? So how many hundreds are there? Well, there's eight. So we know that there's a hundred eight. So there you go. I've already given you the answer to that one. <laughs> but have a go at that. Use your multiples, use your times tables to help you with that, okay? Then lesson two, you're going to have fun around your house. So you will need to ask an adult if you have some kind of scale at home. Do you have a kitchen scale or one to weigh yourself? Find two different objects, so anything that you like, different sizes ideally. Estimate how much they weigh. So as you can see, this one is actually asking you in grams. If you don't have a scale for grams, you can use kilograms, just change it on here. Then estimate it, so have a good guess. Write the name of the object. So if I'm doing my book, I put my book here, I'm gonna guess it's about 25 grams. I'm actually gonna weigh it. Let's pretend it was actually 15 grams. And then you're going to difference. So difference means subtract. So take the larger number of whichever one. So I believe I said 15 and 20. I don't even remember what I said. Let's say I said 15 and 20. So I do 20 divide, um, 20 take away 15. Okay, so that would be five, right? Do not forget your units of measurement. And that is all for this one. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Just remember, flip through as well if you need to remember anything, your grams, units of measurements, how I think this sometimes can be the trickiest bit. So enjoy.